This is the shrill carder bee. These beautiful little guys have the dubious honour of being one of the rarest bumblebees in England. Shrill carders have all but disappeared from England because the way we use the land has changed. They are now so rare that very little is known about their lives. Bees are vital to human life. Literally all of the vegetables and meat that we eat are at some point dependent on the bees doing their thing of pollinating and propagating the plants that we rely on. And one of the really special things about the shrill carder bee is that they've got this really long tongue which enables them to pollinate long tubular flowers that other bees aren't able to. This is the National Trust Lights Carey Manor in Somerset, a wonderfully diverse landscape of farmland, gardens, allotments, wild grasslands and meadow. The National Trust and the farmer here have worked closely together and they seem to have found a recipe for crop production and for wildlife. And this is an essential part of that collaboration. A decent area around an arable field left to go a bit wild to allow flowers and grasses to grow. For this reason, Lights Kerry Manor is one of the last strongholds of the shrill carder bee. Bees and farmers work together to provide our food. The shrill carder bee needs wildflowers to forage and also nice tussocky grass with which they can build nests. And the farmers win too, because the bumblebees provide vital pollination for their crops. Back from the Brink is working with farmers and other land managers to create more joined up field margins so this little bee can thrive in the English countryside again. Be part of the solution. Volunteer at your local nature reserve, in town or in the country. Protect our natural wealth. We cannot live without it. Back from the Brink is one of the most ambitious conservation projects ever undertaken. It's aiming to save 20 species across England, all of which are nearly extinct. It is the first time ever that so many conservation organisations have come together with one focus. And the power of collaborating like this is really beginning to make things happen. Much of this success, of course, is down to the local people. So far, over 2,000 people have volunteered to help Back From The Brink. This amounts to over 4,000 days or 10 years of working days given for free to help our wildlife and wild spaces. Incredible. And the best part is that you can join them.